Are you ready? for my 100% and I'm sad because Hey y'all, day three in Denmark. We're playing Denmark tonight. I'm first singles because Michelle is injured and she's leaving back to Toronto tomorrow. Oh, I'm talking about you. I said you're leaving tomorrow and I'm playing for singles. Anyways, we have morning training. Team Malaysia right now. I'm scared to play for singles. Oh my god. Hey guys. I was gonna show you Tally's mans, but Man. it wasn't focusing. Let's try again. Oh, I was gonna give a special shout out to the man. Oh my gosh, it's working. Anyway, there he is. Right there. <laughs> right there in all white <laughs> with red shoes. I look like the lunch lady. Anyways, we're at the Saling restaurant and bar in my bistro and this is the food we got. We're playing Denmark tonight so we need to fuel up for tonight. And there's also like a rooftop like view thing so I'll show you guys the view up there later. Looks really good. Jump, mom, jump. It's okay. You want to take yeah. It's currently 5 p.m. Getting ready to head to the venue now for our match against Denmark. I'm playing for singles against Mia Blitchfeld. I think her highest ranking is like eighth in the world. Um, I'm just gonna try my best to have a good game. I watched her games beforehand this morning and last night and she looks really, really fast. I'm just gonna try to keep up with her foot speed and hopefully have some chances to attack and not just defend the whole game. Hopefully Canada does well against Denmark. Wish us luck. Are you ready? I mean, <laughs> yes, I am ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See you out there. Okay. Oh, part one. Denmark, represented by Camille and Antonio. From Canada, Tanya Right now, line is winning 20 to 9. Okay. Yeah! The second women's doubles is on now. We lost already 0 to 3, but it's okay. Hopefully, they win one point back. They're on the big screen. First game, Cat and Crystal are losing five to eleven. Oh. 
over tired. For Denmark. Wendy is the last match. Hopefully, she's a point for us. Nineteen for Wendy. Let's go. Day three of practice. Oh, day four. I don't know what day it is anymore. We lost to Denmark yesterday, but this girl pulled a W, so we didn't lose five zero. We lost one four. Your shots were so accurate yesterday. So many like on the line. I was like, geez. Yeah, your shots were like like all in the corner. I was like, whoa. At first, you did a lot of trick shots, and you kept on getting them into the net. And we were like, oh my god, Wendy, no more, no more deception at the front. Anyways, we're playing Malaysia tonight at seven. It's currently 11 a.m. and we have sure. oh. Team Japan is over there. Kento's like on the far court. I don't know if you can see. He's right there. Isn't that crazy? Team France is over there. Team Germany is over there. Guys, look at Kento. <laughs> Oh jeez. Let's watch them train for a bit. I promise you I'm not creepy. I just think this is some good content. <laughs> They're so excited when they train. There's so much energy. <laughs> days later I realized I didn't really do a little update after my matches so I thought I'd do them now I was just kind of upset after my match against China and Denmark so I didn't really like vlog afterwards but I'll do the recap now I played 
women singles one against Mia. Going into the game, I didn't really have high expectations. I just wanted to perform well, perform the shots that I've like practiced and be able to like keep up some long rallies with her, follow her speed. But I played so bad. I was just upset. I guess because I know that I don't have many opportunities to play like world-class players like this And when I didn't perform like my best, I just feel like I wasted my opportunity if that makes sense So I was kind of upset about that. I just didn't play smart. I was just trying to get everything over I didn't use my brain looking back. I feel like I could have played smarter I feel like all she really did was attack clear attack clear attack clear Smash and then whenever I blocked to the front push me to the back and then I'd like clear again. The bird's also super, super slow in the venue. So like my clears were probably half court and also really slow. I just feel like I didn't perform my 100% and I'm sad because I feel like I wasted this chance against this top world-class player. But what's done is done. There's nothing I can do now. So I can just go back, rewatch the video and work on everything I need to work on. So next time is better. But yeah, here's your update. Okay guys, so I guess that's it for part two of my 2021 Thomas Uber Cup vlog. Part three, AKA the final part will be out next week. So stay tuned for that. In that vlog, both the girls and guys team play against Malaysia. So come back to watch that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you would like to. And yeah, I guess that's it. See you guys next week. Bye.